Aja here from Pandemonium. It is a beautiful day today with a slight chilly breeze. It's just, it feels wonderful. But we are going to be working on some projects on the homestead today. So let me show you a few. Momo, how am I supposed to get out? Huh? I'm going to step over you? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Are you following me? <laughs> so this pathway has been here, but we put in these wood uh, they're slats that you can order off of Amazon. They come in um, probably about eight foot sections. So we just put these along the path and I'm also gonna put rock through here. This is about three sections here. Good morning, everybody. Oh yeah, we got the new frame for the hammock seat. How, does, how is it, is it comfy? Very comfy. Very comfy? <laughs> it looks comfy. It's comfy. Comfy, comfy. Good morning. Good morning. So as some of you may know, I do like to take old junk and transform it into yard art. These are aluminum cans, and I'm going to be using these in the shower for decoration. I'm making flowers out of them. You just cut them up. You got to be really careful not to cut yourself. It's not too bad, though. And either some of them are really pretty, like they are. And some of them you'll want to paint. So I'm going to combine actually these two here, like that. Yep, I'm going to use these as wall art in the outdoor shower. Talking about the outdoor shower, Jeff is digging another trench. As you all know, if you watched the last video, we dug a trench on the other side of the shower to drain, or as a drain, for the shower. This one is going to be for the compost toilet. So yes, we will be installing the compost toilet. We already got all the wood for it. And Ghislaine, like I showed y'all earlier, made these beads. So I'm going to put the flowers along here for more decoration in the shower. Don and Colleen made chili bowl for breakfast. It's got white rice on the bottom, chili, sour cream, and then some crunchies on the top. Anyways, I am testing the hammock chair out. I've been in it before. It is comfy. Actually, this thing supports it much better, the stand nice and you can place it anywhere you want to awesome sauce awesome sauce. Oh, I can't fall asleep I have too many projects the biggest project that I'm gonna get started on is this area I'm not gonna do it all obviously it's a lot to work with it's gonna be a gradual thing but this is gonna be all a garden with vegetables and herbs and stuff like that I'm gonna do raised bed gardening and I'm going to use 32 gallon trash cans that I'm going to place in here. Let me show you the actual containers that I got. Here are the containers. They are just the 32 gallon trash cans. They're pretty inexpensive at Walmart. About like 18 bucks I think they were. Also got a mat here. This is going to go on the shower platform. And also picked up a toilet seat for the composting toilet. Okay, well, Jeff finished the trench. We just have to do a little uh, fill dirt to level it out so it sits level. And we're going to get an extension. So we're going to make a little area here. And this is where the pee will be diverted to. So the area under the barrel, we kind of dug in and leveled out. So it's inset a bit. And we cut out the bottom of that for drainage. And that way it'll be connected to the soil. Just putting some rock in here. We're going to add this to the bottom of the barrel so that way it helps with drainage. Rocks in the bottom. This will also help with weight, but once this is full, this thing's going to be pretty heavy, so it won't be going anywhere. excited to be growing food on the homestead we already do have I think five um, fruit trees and then one blueberry bush Jeff is getting the mulch ready we are going to make some mulch to put in the barrel as well this will all break down and make the soil more nutrient dense I got another flower
So we're going to take some of the natural soil from around this area and fill some of the bottom. Okay, we're going to spread that about. And here is our mulch, which has wood chips, and we also shredded cardboard. That'll be a nice layer in there. That should hold some moisture, too. Okay, more of the soil. It's just like a layering effect. This soil is actually really good to mix in because it has clay and a lot of the rock and broke rock and rock dust in it. We have been composting. I got several compost barrels over there. They're not ready yet though. And I'll add those at a later time to future buckets. But for now we're just gonna add in some garden soil. And I'll probably go to the store and get some more amendments to add into here. But I'm just getting this all ready for next season. So a lot of that, what we put in here will break down because of the layers and the wood chips and also cardboard that'll all break down to help feed the awesome plants that hopefully we'll have. At the bottom, we put the natural dirt and then this is natural dirt mixed with uh, garden soil. And now just here at the top, we're gonna put garden soil, no mixture, just put the garden soil directly over. I'm not gonna fill it all the way. And then when everything sinks down in next season, when this is ready, we will actually, it's ready to plant actually. You can probably plant in here and it'll be fine. But yeah, I want the stuff down at the bottom to break down. And I'm not gonna fill it all the way up. Just put a layer on and then we'll put some more on next season because I'm sure this will sink down a bit. That should be good. I give this room to add more. I didn't really show you this step, so we just drilled a hole. And now we're just taking the metal shears, which works on plastic as well. And we're cutting this little circle out. And that's all that you have to do. So you know we've already dug this out and laid the pipe. Another big project today, Randy is working on the composting toilet. So don't forget, he's done this on his channel before if you want to check that out. Who do they go see? Traveling with the Graham Cracker. And look up toileting for older van dwellers. Tell you all about the compost toilets. We have four more to get done. So we just set them up in a row and we're gonna do them all in order. So we're gonna drill, then cut the holes out of each of them. And then next is going to be the rock at the bottom and then fill them all up. I've already dug and raked out this area here. I'm gonna work on the other three of that are gonna be over here. Jimmy's helping out with the gardening project. He's collecting the larger rocks. He's our rock man. What is that? I thought it was a tiny snake. I don't know. <laughs> it's a rope. It's a rope. He's got this one done with the rocks in and then putting a little bit of soil on top. So these three are next. Last bucket full. Oh, I hear the wood chipper going. Jeff must be hitting that up. So we're just gonna add a layer of dirt into that. So we do have a lot of ash here from the fire. I'm gonna add a couple scoops into each barrel and mix it in. Hey Clark, how are you doing honey? <laughs> so Rady is getting the framing, all the framing pieces cut out, then he's gonna assemble it. Good thing you do this all the time. This is a new design. Oh, this one's a new design? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's check out the frame. All right. That looks amazing. Awesome. Are we even going to put the um, stones down? Yes, we are. Okay, we are. Okay. Because we're going to lift it up to that height. Okay. So there's going to be four blocks that go underneath the corners to rise this all up. Yep. And then there's the, where the drain, so it's going to, the liquids will go straight out. Looking good. 
We took a break and decided to come to the hardware store. To the barrels, I'm gonna add in chicken manure and some peat moss. Also, there's some organic blend here for the other barrels. We were able to finish off the one. And also, we're grabbing three bags of brown mulch for the top, so it keeps all the moisture in. Helps everything break down. The good thing about this is it's not connected to anything, so we can pull it out if we need to work on it. And I don't know if I showed you the flowers, but there they are, the ones that I've done. Definitely gonna do more. So I put the lid on all of them. I'm just gonna keep them shut for several days. And I watered everything just to get moisture in there. We keep it sealed up for now, so it doesn't dry out. <sighs> This is another project that I am working on. Unfortunately, we have pack rats, tons of mice, and they destroy things, also carry diseases. One of my friends had a pack rat in their engine. They had to clean this out twice. They cleaned it out the first time and they came back, and then they cleaned it out again. But unfortunately, the pack rat has chewed their wires. So if you see down in there, there's multiple wires. That whole harness has been chewed in half right there. That is not cool. And there's more stuff down below, more uh, messy stuff. And I don't know if they've chewed anything else there. And I've showed you my old rig panda has a pack rat problem. We've cleaned this out twice and they've built it back stronger and stronger every time. It is completely packed in there. So I'm gonna have to clean this out again. Luckily, I haven't had any mice issues on the inside, just the pack rat problem, but it needs to be addressed because they haven't chewed any wires or anything like that on Panda, fortunately, but that doesn't mean it couldn't happen. And that's why I am building these rat traps. There is a spindle here or a dowel that goes through and then you put a piece of PVC pipe and the bait goes here, which is usually peanut butter because it sticks. And then they get on here and try to eat the peanut butter and they will slide off, hopefully, if it works properly. I've got two more to do. I've already drilled the holes for this one. Gotta get the holes drilled in that one and then I have to put the dowel rod in and then cut the PVC pipe to go over it. Ta-da! I have three done and I might do two more because I have a few more places that I might want to put it. One is definitely going to go on the other side of Lucky because I definitely don't want any pack rats in my rig. That would not be good. One obviously is going to go over to where Panda is. Then I'm going to set the other trap at the engine that I showed you earlier.